Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This is another momentum problem where they want us to compare two cars. So they say that the mass of both of the cars, so M1, so M1 and M2 are both 1,400 kilograms. And they say that both of them, because they're trying to um, do a test, both the velocity of car one and the velocity of car two are both traveling at 20 meters per second. They want us to know what the average force is of both of the cars in two different scenarios. One, when they hit water barrels. And two, when the car hits a concrete barrier. So first we need to write down the formula for impulse. So J is equal to the change in momentum, and it's also equal to the average force times the change in time. So since they're all equal to each other, we're actually just going to use the last two. So we're going to use the change in momentum is equal to the average force times the change in time. They want us to find the average force, so if we isolate that by dividing both sides of the equation by the change in time, we get the average force is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. And if we break that up further, we have P final minus P initial divided by the change in time. Now in this scenario, the cars, after they hit the water barrels or the concrete barrier, the final velocity v final is going to be zero meters per second. So when we break up the momentum, we have mass times velocity final minus mass times velocity initial. And the final velocity will turn that whole variable to zero divided by a change in time, of course. So now when we write our final equation, F average, is equal to the negative mass times the initial velocity divided by the change in time. So now when we do the water barrel, we just need to input our numbers. So the mass is equal to 1400 kilograms times the initial velocity, which is 20 meters per second, divided by the time it took for it to stop which in this case is 1.5 seconds. We have a negative 1400 kilograms times 20 meters per second divided by 1.5 gives us negative 18666. So if we round that up, that is going to be a negative 19,000 newtons for the water barrels. When we do the concrete barrier, we'll have the same thing. We'll have a negative 1400 kilograms times initial speed of 20 meters per second. The only thing that changes is the time, of course. So the time that it took to slow down with the concrete barrier is only 0.1 seconds, which is going to give us negative 1400 times 20 meters per second divided by 0.1, which is a negative 28,000, or excuse me, 280,000 newtons. So the force, when it hits the concrete barrier, because it's a much shorter time, obviously is going to have a much higher force of impact of, or the average force during the collision.